Yeah, it's very realistic. It's, I mean, look at this. Black Forest Labs released this Flux One Kriya, and it's made for realism. In collaboration with Kriya AI, they made a Flux Dev fine tune to remove this AI look, meaning this shiny skin and this overly beautifying filter that the Flux Images has. And let me tell you, they succeeded. It's really good. And look at this realism. I mean, this is out of this world. Look how perfect it is. And it can even do styles. So uh, let's see my examples. Let's see this highly realistic natural light portrait of a 22 years old Japanese girl with long black hair with fringe holding a Japanese long bow. She uses a traditional Japanese white robe and red pants. Her clothes build in the wind. Yeah. It's very realistic. It's, I mean, look at this. So the face, pretty good. So they removed that flux face. A little mistake here on the hand and the arm. But other than that, it's just perfect. Look at the hair. This hair is just perfect. And the clothing, oh my God, you can see. See the fabric. I have a robe like this and let me tell you, this is exactly like it would look like in this scene. The only problem here is the bow. This is not a Japanese long bow. Let's see if I can fix this. Same thing, but now I specifically told it that she holds the bow with one hand with no intention of using it. This one, it's closer to a Japanese long bow. Little mistake here, four finger hands. I did one more here and this one came out perfect. And the hands are good now. And the clothing, I am really impressed with this clothing and the hair. Very, very good. I mean, uh, does this character remind you of any anime character? <laughs> So let's try if this can generate an anime. Well, yes, this model can also generate anime and it's pretty good as well. I noticed that uncommon objects might not be very good. So I tried this realistic photo of a galaxy inside a glass bottle on a wooden table. It's missing the hole of the bottle, but uh, it's really, really realistic. I mean, look at this reflecting light out of the table. So this model is definitely made for humans. Well, let's try animals. So a realistic portrait of a cat by the window light. Yes, it can do animals. But what about uncommon animals? So I tried here a realistic portrait of a pangolin. If you don't know what a pangolin is, this is a pangolin. Yes, this animal does exist. <laughs> It looks like it was pulled off out of Pokemon. So let's see if the model can do it. Yes, it can. Not as much of a realistic portrait as it is a painting, but still, uh, this is a pangolin. Now, how to use it? The good news is that if you have used Flux before, it's just exactly the same. This is just a fine-tuned model of Flux, so it works with the old workflow. The model itself, you need to put it on your Confi UI folder, you go to Models, and then Diffusion Models, and then put it right here. And then the text encoders, the clip, and then one of these two, I'm using this one because it saves VRAM, you put into models, text encoders, and then the VAE, you put into the VAE. <laughs> okay, so that's it. I'm assuming you have Confi UI installed already. You just need to update it and put the files in the correct folders. I'm gonna put a link of all of these files below. So what do you think? Flux Kriya Dev. For now, the most realistic text to image I have ever seen. So tell me in the comments what do you think and uh, don't forget to subscribe.